Welcome to Living Marvelously with me, Lori Jonas. This is the show where we unleash the marvelous potential in every woman. Are you ready to dream big and leap into a life you love? Don't let the expectations of others choose for you. Step out of your comfort zone and learn how to create what your life looks like. I'll take you on an inspirational journey, helping you tap into the wellspring of your inner strength, get clear on your life purpose, and unleash the vision you came into the world to share. On Living Marvelously, you will learn about personal development, self-care, and spirituality. And together, we will connect with others, sharing their unique energies, and learn to create a world that allows everyone to shine. Living Marvelously starts now. Today, let's explore the concept of intentional living and how it can help you find true happiness. With the constant hustle and bustle of modern life, it's all too easy to get swept up in the chaos and lose sight of what truly matters to us. But by taking a step back and intentionally choosing our actions and priorities, we can live a more fulfilling and purposeful life. So get ready to gain a new perspective and take control of your own happiness. Hello, everyone. I'm Lori Jonas, and you're listening to Living Marvelously on Transformation Talk Radio. Stay with me for the next 30 minutes as we discuss how to live intentionally. And be sure to join me every second and fourth Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, and we'll have some great discussions on how to create your fun, adventurous, empowering, loving, and beautiful life. So like I said, today we're talking about how to live intentionally and find true fulfillment in life. So have you ever thought about if you are actually living the life you want to live? Because living intentionally means that you choose what you do each day based on your wants and desires. I started living marvelously because I noticed that my mom wasn't doing that. She was stuck in a pattern of doing what others wanted her to do. So when she had alone time, she wasn't sure how to fill her time and she created some bad habits. And I vowed not to do that. And to share with anyone who would listen that there is another way. And here I have a platform where I can do that. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm reading a book right now called um, On Our Best Behavior. Have you heard of this this book yet? It's by Elise Lonen. um, And it's about the seven deadly sins and the price women pay to be good. So one of those seven deadly sins is envy. And when we see someone achieving their goals and realizing their dreams, we tend to look at them as if they're doing something wrong. You know, how could they be so selfish? They're supposed to be taking care of their kids or their husband or sticking with those caretaking jobs that everybody assumes women must uh, fulfill. But really, on the inside, we're all thinking, how can I do that too? I want to. I want to be living my best life. So even though culture has really taught us one thing, each of us here are here to share our unique gifts and talents. And we can't do that by letting others hold expectations for us. So if we one by one start speaking our truth and start living our own dream lives, we can start to break that culture down. I know it's big and I know that's a tall task, but even... Each, each of us doing something that we love in our own life will create that ripple effect. So not everybody is ready for this, but if you are listening to me right now, I kind of believe that you are. There's a reason you are living right now in this lifetime and your inner spirit knows what that is and is trying to tell you. So let's figure it out and start living intentionally. So we're going to start off with Uh, a three-step process to living the life you want to live. Do you often find yourself feeling unsatisfied with your life? Like there must be something more. If so, you are not alone because many people feel stuck in a life that really doesn't align, align with their true desires. But the good news is you do not have to stay there. These simple steps that we're going to talk about in just a second, they can really start, they help you to start to live the life that you want. So let's figure out what truly matters to you. Let's eliminate what doesn't and let's find your confidence. Plus, I want to share a bonus tip on how to use the universe to reach your destination. So step number one, identify what truly matters to you. 
often when you feel like you are stuck or not sure of your purpose, it's because you don't know what you actually want. You keep seeing other people happy and think you must need that in order for you to be happy. But that's not your dream. That's somebody else's dream. So let's take a step back and see if that is actually true. When you picture your ideal life, what are you doing? Where are you living? And who are you with? And when you think of that, does it make you light up? Does it bring joy to your life? Does it make you excited about getting up every day? Because that's the starting point of living an intentional life, knowing what you want. You can't get to that place unless you know where you are going. And it makes it a lot easier to get help from your inner spirit or the universe. So really take some time with this. Check out some of my previous videos because this is really a hot topic of mine and I talk about it a lot. You have to know what you want. And there's a lot of ways for you to figure that out. Meditating, journaling, talking to other people, just just, um, paying attention to what makes you happy throughout your your day throughout the weeks, looking back on the last month, what did you do when you were really in your essence, when you were really aligned with your soul? All right, so take some time with that. And then when you've got that figured out, you're going to eliminate what doesn't matter. Because oftentimes we hold on to things out of habit or fear of change, but removing what no longer serves us is necessary to make room for what does. So this can look like, you know, getting rid of um, physical possessions that no longer bring you joy. Just, you know, walking around your house and like, why do I still have that? It's just because it's been there forever. But do I still love it? Maybe I need to move it and put something else there. It could look like getting rid of um, or setting boundaries around some toxic relationships. Are there relationships in your life that cause you a lot of anxiety? And do you really need to keep having that relationship. Maybe you can let that friendship go, or you can let that uh, try to find a way if it's at work, not to have to work with that person. I don't know that, but you need to at least set some boundaries or maybe it's reevaluating, reevaluating your career path. Do you love what you're doing? Uh, Does it bring you joy? And if it's a job that you need, because obviously we need to eat, we need to have a place to live, we need things, so we need to work, we need to make money. And if this job is what's helping you do that and you still kind of don't like it, what are some things that you can let go of in that job that would make you like it more? Or what are some things in that job that you really love doing and you could go to your boss and say, hey, I really love doing this part. Is there any way I could do a little bit more of that? It's you taking the steps to understand what you want and then eliminating what doesn't matter and what doesn't bring you joy. Because the things we surround ourselves with and spend our time on greatly impact our overall happiness and fulfillment. When I was doing, started my blog, um, gosh, it's been almost seven years now, um, I knew I needed to let go of chasing the vanity numbers. It it was hard though. I would push out social media posts because I thought I had to. And then and then when I did it, I'd be afraid like, oh my gosh, what if somebody sees it that doesn't like it? And I would be afraid of what people thought about it. And then I would check it constantly. And then if it wasn't doing anything, I would get frustrated and mad. But can you see how that all doesn't align? So I needed to let that go. I needed to let go of having a set schedule for making sure I have so many posts out on all the social media channels. And I've become more relaxed about it. Now I just post when it feels good. I have posts when I have something to say. I post when I have something to share. And I'm trusting that by letting go of most of my social media posts that I will still reach my goals. So what in your life makes you feel unworthy, frustrated, or bitter? And could that be a sign that it's not what you are supposed to be doing or letting into your life? It's so important to be intentional about what we allow into our lives and our souls and the universe will keep giving us signs when we insist on continuing down those same not important paths. It's like once in a while you get a little tweak in your knee, but you think, oh, it's fine. I can just keep going. And then it gets a little worse and a little worse, and a little worse. It's 
you're getting the sign, you maybe need to check this out, or you maybe need to stop running, or you maybe you need to stop doing something that you're doing that's causing this pain. And the body is going to keep telling you that there's pain there until you do something about it. All right, step number three, we are going to find your confidence. Because your dreams are important. Whatever you dream of, you are meant to have. You have been given everything you need to create and live the life you want. Do you believe that? Our souls know why they chose to be here at this time. And that comes through to us by recognizing what brings us joy and what comes naturally to us. Challenges and obstacles will get in the way because Everyone has free will, and you can't control what anyone else does. But the key to confidence is to just be you. Know that you were born with your own unique abilities, and those abilities are yours and yours alone. Only you can be the expert in your life. It cannot be compared or judged against anyone else's life because they don't have your abilities. They don't have the same things that you are here to share. You are a unique person and no other human has your ability. Each person's abilities are needed and necessary for our world to thrive. And somebody out there could be waiting for what you have to share. So why would you not have confidence in something that only you can do? That's a pep talk I give myself often. We have to. We all have to. And because it's hard to not realize that. But living the life you truly want requires a deliberate and intentional approach. You must first identify what you truly matters to you, eliminate anything that isn't aligned with those values, and start taking baby steps with confidence. Realize that you have everything you need and feel confident in creating your dream life. After all, isn't that why you're here? I trained with uh, Mike Dooley to become an infinite, infinite possibilities trainer, which was um, just a fantastic training. And I use the, the training all the time. But one of the analogies that he shared with us was the GPS analogy. And I don't have enough time in this segment to tell you all about it, but I'm going to come back and share that with you because you will see how it all starts with setting your destination and then seeing where the, G the GPS will take you. Because making choices and actions that align with what you want and how you want to feel is what intentional living is all about. And when you know what that is, it really, it sets the stage. It sets the stage for you to get there. So we I don't want you living a life that is happening to you. I want you to create this life. So think about it. What are what are you letting happen to you in life that you don't like? And let's change that. So when we come back, we're going to continue this discussion on intentional living. I want to share this really quickly, this GPS analogy, because it's really fun and most everyone gets it and understands it. And then we're going to see how we can create a vision for several areas of your life. So I'm Lori Jonas, and you are listening to Living Marvelously, and we will be right back. All right, we are back on Living Marvelously with me, Lori Jonas. And before we went to break, I talked about this GPS analogy that I learned from Mike Dooley. And here's just quickly, I wanted to share it with you because it it's something you can look back on and think, okay, do I have my destination set? Let's think about a GPS. What's the first thing you have to do when you get into your car and you want to use your GPS? You have to put in your final destination, correct? You have to put in where you want to go. You want to Put in the end result. And then what happens? The GPS calculates the fastest or however you set it up, the fastest, shortest, quickest route to get to your end result. And then what's the next thing you have to do? You have to start your car, right? You have to start your car. You have to actually have to start driving. So there's action you have to take in order to get to your destination. 
So you're driving along and the GPS is telling you, take a right here, take a left here, uh, go straight for so many more miles. And then you decide, you know what? I don't want to take a left there. I've already, I go that way all the time. I want to try something new. I'm going to go right instead. So what does your GPS do? It says recalculating, and then it gives you a new path. You getting what I'm talking about here? This is the universe helping us. So we can make different turns and try, they're, got, they're giving us a path and we can decide to go somewhere else and then they have to recalculate and they're going to get us back on path to get to our end result. Because how do you know that you've reached your end result? When you get there, you don't know that you're going to get there until you reach it. So think about it. If you were on a four-hour journey and you had this destination in mind and you were three hours and 45 minutes into your journey and you're like, oh no, this I, I'm never going to get there. This is taking way too long. It's not going to happen. I give up. I'm going to turn around and go back. How many times have you done that in life, right? You've had this destination, this goal, and you're just like, it's not, it's not, it's not working. It's not going to work. I can't get there. And so you quit. But you're not going to know that you're there until you are actually there. So all these dreams and desires that you are creating, they have to be big. They have to be what you really want because you're not going to do, you're never going to quit. You want them to happen. You can change them. Of course, you can change them. You can have different goals. You can have different desires throughout your life. But you need to pay attention. You need to follow the path. And if you want to take a different turn, it might just take a little longer to get there. But use the universe in doing that. How does that sound? Isn't that kind of fun? I love that analogy. And I try to share it as much as I can. And it's a really good lesson on living intentionally, knowing where you are going so that the universe can help. So learning to how to live intentionally really starts with your thoughts. Because you could be saying to yourself, life is hard. I never seem to get to where I want to go. I feel like I'm just getting by every day with no real purpose or destination, always doing what is directly in front of me. I feel like I'm on a treadmill with life. Life seems to be happening to me. Have you heard yourself say things like that? Intentional living is described as a lifestyle based on an individual or group's conscious attempts to live according to their values and beliefs. And I think conscious is the key word here, having actual thoughts about what you want your life to look like and creating a roadmap to get there. It's consciously deciding ahead of time how you want to live your life. And in all areas of your life, having a vision of what you want it to look like and knowing where you are now can create your roadmap, just like the GPS. You have to know where you are and you have to know where you're going, and then you can create the roadmap in between. So let's talk about uh, a few areas of our lives, health, relationships, abundance, career, spirituality, recreation, service, and environment. All right, we're going to start with, um, we're going to have a, do a little exercise. So you're going to have to do some work with this, okay? So if you're anywhere that you can pull out a piece of paper, pull out a piece of paper, and I want you to write these things down. Okay, we're going to start with each area of your life and we're going to write down what you envision it to look like. I want you to leave a little room in between each area because once we figure out what we want it to look like, we're going to go back and discover where we are now. All right, so here's some examples. So let's start with health. Here are some ideas of what you could write down about what you envision your health to look like. I believe in taking care of my body and I value a strong mind and a healthy weight. Moving my body every day is important. Feeling good is my ultimate goal. It could also be something like if you are struggling, if you have some sort of a disease or something that's really sort of inhibiting you from living the life you want, could be something like I find ways to live the life I want with what I have. So it's using this challenge that you're in to create this new desired life. 
Okay, that's health. Let's move on to relationships. My family is very important to me, and I will do what I can to protect and love them. I value my spouse, and I want to keep nurturing our relationship. Or, my perfect match is out there, and I am ready to find them. Or, I am in a healthy relationship. I want a healthy relationship. Okay, abundance. Money is available to me, and I enjoy it, and I enjoy all that I have. My success in life is inevitable. I spend money on things that are important to me. Uh, career. I love my job and want to continue to learn and move up in the company. I want to find a way to earn money following my passion. I have a job that helps me earn the money I need to live my desired life. Uh, spirituality. I believe in a higher power who is always available to me. All I have to do is ask for help and guidance is on the way. I meditate and pursue personal development. I have the power to co-create my life with the universe. And recreation. Play is important and I need to take breaks from work to spend time with family and friends and laugh and enjoy life. Travel is something I want to do often. And service. Helping others is my duty as a human being. Whenever possible, I will do what I can to make others feel better. Every year, I will choose a charity to get involved with. An environment. I choose to live minimally. My home is small and organized. I live in a warm weather climate. Okay, I want you to really take some time with those and really figure out what it is for you. I gave you some ideas, but that's not probably what you're thinking. So just write out what you're thinking. And then I want you to take stock of where you are now. So here, I'm just going to throw out a few examples. I can't go through all of them, but maybe health. I'm currently overweight and taking too many medications. I do not have control of my mental well-being. Okay, that's where you are now. So you're going to try to get to where you need to be, and you're going to intentionally take steps in your life to get from where you are now to where you want to be. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to go through all of these, but this is a really good exercise, and I want you to go through each one of those. Because when you have a goal and a destination, you have intentionally created the vision. You know where you are now, and now you can create goals and make decisions that will close the gap between them. Just a couple little tips before we go. Do not live your life living up to other people's expectations. The world needs your talents, your ideas, your passions. Don't let someone else's expectations influence your choices. If the expectations are from a family member or a close friend, speak up, have a conversation with them about changing things. And if it's your boss, either speak up or start looking for a more aligned job. Do not be a people pleaser. Know your goals and dreams and make sure you're accomplishing them for yourself. Don't be a pawn in someone else's desire for satisfaction. And do not compare your life to others. When we compare our life to others, um, or circumstances with others, we forget that we have control of our, our own lives. We get to decide what our life looks like. We don't need to compare. Let them decide what they want their life to look like. It's not our job to do that. So instead, I want you to say, life is fun and easy. I know where I want to be, and I'm following my own path to get there. I'm living intentionally. The choice is mine of what makes me happy and joyful, and I have power over my own life. Doesn't that sound better? Thank you for being here today. I hope you are living an intentional life. Join me next time. And I want to share about, um, next time I want to talk about inspiring love and self-worth, which is so important in living an intentional life. So thank you for being here. And please join me every second and fourth Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And I will see you then. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Living Marvelously with me, your host, Lori Jonas. Tune in next time to unleash the marvelous potential in every woman. Every second and fourth Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com as I help you choose a life that you are passionate about. Learn to embrace your unique self, dream big, and leap into what you choose to have your marvelous life look like. Together we create a world that allows everyone to shine. For more information, visit livingmarvelously.com. That's livingmarvelously.com. See you next time.
on living marvelously.